Hello lads, I am yet again checking in from the forest of enlightenment and I have a teaching to share. Now, first and foremost, I would like to ask you all for a favor, a small favor, and that is if you could go to Instagram and follow the new Legio Gloria account, LG Clothing Company. First link in the description box below. I need to reclaim territory since the last one got taken down for absolutely no reason at all so if you could do that if you could take a few seconds out of your day i would be very happy indeed now you might wonder why do i keep trying on instagram if i get censored and shadow banned and outright banned yes it's because instagram is de facto part of the public space and i need to be there especially if you have a clothing brand you need to be on instagram as i explained in my latest video so and this is me not giving up by the way it would be easy to just let it go but i will not give up i'm not giving up i'm not getting pushed out of that space because i have individuals who do not like me and would like to make my life harder so i'm not gonna let them win i'm back at it and i would very much appreciate your help and of course if you can share the account as well it would be very helpful indeed now on to the teaching at hand and i'm yet again using one of my very specific examples of an everyday thing getting banned on instagram and starting anew i will use a, a story an epic story a myth to motivate myself and i will use this example of getting back on instagram as an example of how you can apply this myth in your own life so instagram this is just an example i'm sure you can find a way to apply this story to your own life so essentially mithras he goes out and he hunts down the primordial bull he wrestles with it you know grabs the bull by the horns and spends a lot of energy out wrestling him and drags him back to his cave and then during the night the bull escapes so all of his hard work in subjugating the bull dragging him back to the cave it's been all for nothing he has to do it again so the next morning Mithras he goes out finds the bull and the process it starts anew out wrestles the bull again with his strength and fortitude and he drags him back again to the cave where he sacrifices the bull now of course the Mithraic mysteries they are a lot deeper and they are very concerned with matters of astrology so if you are an enthusiast of astrology the Mithraic mysteries might be something to look into I will definitely talk more about it in coming podcast or a video so there is a lot of depth to the mysteries themselves but I wanted to share this particular teaching and how I apply it in this situation is simply that yes the first bull the the first night the bull has escaped I need to do it again I need to get back into uh, I need I need to get back to work that's essentially it um, now of course you might think there is a big difference between wrestling a bull in a primordial landscape with a demigod or a god doing it and getting back on Instagram but when you have myths like this the best way to approach them is to simply view them as motivational stories or archetypal stories you have an archetype a young hero he does something and yeah it is you know hard at at times and you will face a lot of setbacks which i have certainly done over these last years but when you put it in the context of it being part of a hero's journey or whatever it might be if you can put it in a context of a myth it becomes a lot easier to just accept it and to not be blackpilled yes of course it's annoying to have things like this happen but if i can put it in the context of a myth then it becomes a lot easier to deal with because then i have the the blueprint already i have the the story already before me that okay the bull escaped from the cave i have to go out again i have to wrestle it down and i have to bring it back um it is what it is uh that is the story of mithras or one story of mithras and the bull uh there are there is a lot of esoteric knowledge to be had in that story and of course i'm sure you can find a similar 
way to adapt such a myth to any predicament you find yourself in. Ultimately for me this is not a super big deal because I can still you know regain followers, I can still build it up, I can still go out again in search of the bull, I can still wrestle it to the ground, drag it back to the cave. And this is something I said in the latest podcast episode as well that you know when I put my issues into a historical perspective it's really not a big deal so no reason for me to be, uh, be overly black pill it's just to get back to it and all will be well now something else to keep in mind is that whenever you stumble upon certain issues and if you want to view it in a more spiritual sense you can just view it as you're being tested by the gods they're sending you tests to see is this guy or girl are they ready to level up so we're throwing at them you know problems and issues and then we see how how they respond to it and of course if you respond to it in a in a good way then uh, yeah you might grow from it now i'm definitely not saying that problems are good in any way but if they happen which they will happen then you can always just view them in the most productive and positive way possible um, so that is my take for the day that is the teaching of Mithras and the bull he manages to catch it at first the bull escapes during the night the next day he has to do it all over again so the way I translate this myth into my everyday life now my own struggle that is to simply get back at it to simply start a new Instagram chase the bull again and uh, hopefully you will help me with catching the bull which is to regrow my Instagram account so do help me in my search for the primordial bull so I can grow and ascend spiritually and also lastly do let me know if you would like me to talk more about these myths and uh, stuff like that or indeed any video you would like to see I'm open for suggestions so uh, Good times, good times. Despite everything, I am happy and optimistic. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who has already followed the new account. Of course, you can go to legiogloria.com and place an order of Dauntless. You can read it before Demigod Mentality comes out. And uh, yeah, I am uh, I'm happy. Good stuff. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. XXO, boom!